There's no shortage of superb beaches in Croatia, a country that has almost 1,800 kilometers of coastline. And that's before you even include the 1,246 islands that lie scattered just offshore. We've created this list to get you straight to the sunbathing spots you've been dreaming of. Susak is a tiny island made almost entirely of sand. The main beach here, Spiaja, stretches seawards like a majestic moon-grey crescent. A long strip of sand that stretches off towards the horizon, the luxuriant Kralyachina Plaza, Queen's Beach, contains a brace of beach bars and very little else, save for mesmerising views of the haughty Velabit Mountains across the water. Bajavitse Beach, a shallow bay of sand and shingle in central split, is immensely popular as a family beach and social hub. It's also famous for being the spiritual home of Pizzagin, a uniquely Dalmatian sport that involves a lot of acrobatic leaping as players try to prevent a small ball from hitting the water. Four kilometres east of Postira on Brach, Lovacina Bay is one of the several beaches on the island that genuinely deliver what you read about in the brochures, with a sandy shore bordering translucent waters and a ruined medieval church among olive groves just behind the strand. The Renaissance port of Havar is a bit of a letdown when it comes to good beaches. Fortunately, there are some excellent coves and bays just to the east, such as Uvala de Bobica, a broad sweep of pebbles beside a historic manor house. Just south of Dubrovnik, Kapari was at one time a holiday resort for the Yugoslav People's Army. It's still home to one of the region's best beaches, a fine crescent of shingle with a few sandy bits underfoot, complete with an evocative backdrop of hotels that were damaged by the shells in the 91 to 95 war. While many of Havar's beaches involve perching on a rock before stepping gingerly out onto a stony seabed, Grebišce is absolutely perfect for splashing around. Located four kilometres east of Yelsa, it's very narrow and lacking shade, but wonderfully sandy underfoot. A silvery tongue of shingle extending into a turquoise sea, Zlatny Rat or Golden Cape, is the poster boy of Dalmatian beaches, pictured in countless brochures and guidebooks. The pebbly peninsula gets crowded, but even then, the lure of the shimmering blue water can make it difficult to leave. Approaching by taxi boat, the islet of Proyge looks like a pretty average hump of pine trees and shrubbery. Get nearer and you'll discover that it's one of the most alluring sunbathing and skinny dipping destinations in the whole of Croatia, with a trio of dramatic beaches made up of sloping rock shelving steeply into a clear sea. Getting to Shunya Bay on the island of Lopud is a big part of the experience. The journey involves a delightful 50-minute crossing on a passenger ferry, followed by a hike over the central hump of blissfully car-free Lopud Island. Once you get there, Shunye is a graceful crescent of fine shingle and sand strung out between two rocky promontories. 